players out here. This has like a 300, 300 man event for yeah. Ultimate, I'm pretty sure. And um, the last chance qualifier for the Melee Summit. Yeah. It's crazy. There's definitely a lot of Melee players here. I just see Chudat over there. And, <laughs> I see, and when you mention a lot of Melee players, uh, one of them up on the screen here is Toph, Melee commentator. You guys have seen him on the Nintendo World Championship side stage before. He has done commentary there. Uh, his pool is pool B2. It's got a uh, fellow commentator like Scrides. It's got K9 as Bruce. If Toph does beat this one, he actually has to fight Strides in round wow. two. So All right. that's going to be interesting to see if Strides can keep up against Toph, who is rocking the Inkling, and of course, JWW rocking the Falcon. Or if Toph can keep up with Strides. Wow. Right, we'll have to see. <laughs> All right, but yeah, going back to the good old Pokemon Stadium uh, two again. I'm definitely wow, okay, yeah, just throwing out that F smash, um, and yeah, that's gonna connect connect and hit very hard. I'm <laughs> getting the knee. That looks like it was like the weaker hit of the knee, but I know they did um, buff the hitbox on the, the yes. knee. They made it a lot bigger, which looks great. And uh, yeah, Captain Falcon actually got a lot of nice uh, touch-ups in this 3.1 oh, patch, which is great. Oh, great jab reset coming out from Toph, going for the up smash for the finisher. I would have loved to have seen the forward smash simply because it kills a little bit earlier at the ledge. And it's got a great distance, but such a tough trade between him and Falcon there, oh, trying to go for the splat bomb. All right, yeah, Toph definitely looking like he's struggling here. Uh, nice. Okay, yeah, that, that, that up air. We'll struggle no more. Uh, throw up airs here. I mean, his movement looks great. It's just more about, like, hitting these conversions now. And, uh, you know, I haven't really seen him throw out his jab yet. Yeah. And uh, Inkling's jab is great. There's a lot of percent. And the more he inked that it has on you, uh, the more percent damage you are going to be taking. There's a jab. Mm -hmm. He's all inked up. Definitely. Wow. He was, like, 70 to 92. That was so good deficit crazy. ratio, yeah. Yeah. All right. Also, these upper jungles coming out from JWW. Do you know what we call him? Or yeah. Dash right, attack, not. Oh, that. oh okay. so close to the knee and so close to the end. for the down tilt brings it towards the ledge. I do like the fact that he went for up air, but Falcon already had a little bit of a cross up and he was able to trade even with him. I mean, yeah, this is actually looking kind of scary for uh, Toph here. He's hanging on to this last stock air, 120 percent. I okay. This is what this is what happened here. He tried <laughs> oh to go gosh. for his own back air. And it's respectable because Inkling's back air is also disjointed, but Falcon's back air is really strong. And he it's has also a disjointed back air. Yeah, Inkling, Inkling has a disjointed back air. That gun is a little bit of a disjoint, and you're able to just challenge your opponents a little bit differently. The difference is it's not like Palutena's back air that has intangibility because of how it is. Mm -hmm. So I respect him for him coming back on the ledge. The problem was the way of how JWW was trading with his back air against his own, which is a little bit faster than Inkling. Yeah. The frame data here was what came down to it, and Toph lost that game one. He had the comeback factor, though. Got to give it he to him. He definitely did, yeah. Uh, he definitely wasn't out of that by no means. He was doing um, a great job. And like we said, adapting and uh, counterpicking stages, that's also really big important. Uh, part of Smash as well, because... Like he, if I was gonna say, if they go back to that, I'd be a little surprised because it looks like he probably just wants to have a smaller stage. With Smashville 2, you're definitely gonna have that smaller tip end stage. It's probably gonna be a little bit easier for Inkling as well. So yeah. let's see if the counter stage helps him out. For Toph, Inkling has great movement and is able to move around Falcon a lot better. In a stage that's smaller in Smashville with the mono platform statically in the middle, it's gonna be able, it's gonna allow both characters to kill a little bit earlier from the sides. Uh, we'll see how Toph can able to handle it. He gets the jab. You mentioned it earlier. You ink your opponent. An inked opponent takes more percent the more ink they are. And ink does fall out. Quick little fun fact about that, though. If you have a character with a water hitbox, like Squirtle's Water Gun or Mario's Flood, it actually washes off the ink. Yeah, that's really cool. Wow, okay, yeah. Toph doing a lot better. Bring, uh, do, bring, putting that F smash out, kind of like we saw in the rever reversal game. JW just killed him with an F smash. Yeah. First stock. Uh, but yeah, Toph's doing a lot better job on Smashville, utilizing this platform as well to get those up air strings, which we like to see. Okay, missing the tech there, so he's going to get, JW is going to get that free dash tech. And also uh, juggling Toph. Yeah. Oh, Toph's got to be careful every time he goes for the roller. He does have M lag, so you got to be careful. You also have to watch your ink. If you don't have enough ink, roller will not go the way you want it to. Great opportunity. Oh, wow, come that, like, stopped him. <laughs> stopped him what dead in his tracks. Mean? 
That was, yeah, wow. Captain Falcon's dash attack, too, literally setting him up um, yeah, for these aerial conversions. Captain Falcon's going to throw out a back air like we keep on seeing. Maybe he'll be a little cheeky, throw out the knee as well. Yeah. So sets up the spot bomb wow. that does. I would have liked to have had him set it high so he can cover the high recovery and then possibly force JW to go for a low recovery and then read that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that would be great. And also that, like, air dodge onto, like, the ledge to grab the ledge, that was, like, Ooh. it carried him really far, surprisingly. He's a lot of a... Uh, Good parry. Movement in the air still, too. Captain Falcon doesn't just sail. He's just very, yeah. very mobile. Wow. He tried to land in the game with another back air, but unfortunately, that's what cost him the game last time, and it's costing him a stock, but Tove evens right. it up 1-1 one, one yeah. apiece. Yeah, that also killed him at, like, 90. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that was... Or no, he was at 80%, so, yeah, he definitely has to keep on watching out for these F smash, F smash here. All right, there's yep. that jab we're seeing, throwing the slap bomb. This time he tosses the, uh, the slap bomb a little bit high, so it's able to stall itself up before it comes back down. He's doing really good against JWW, but he has to watch out for that roller. I've been seeing him go for it in the neutral. It's usually good as a read or when you're coming off from the sides and your opponent's not ready for it. Yeah, especially when they don't have time to shield, react, react. It's a really great move, especially at this percent to ground them and just cancel it and get that F smash or uh, mm -hmm. forward smash. Definitely is really yeah. So yeah, okay. That's gonna take it. Good call out from Tof, knowing that JWW has been going for a lot of aerials. So the fact that he's been going for more aerials dictates that he would be coming from an aerial from the ledge. Tof able to put the feet to the face and take game one, take game two in his favor, putting it one one, moving up to game three. He killed him with the fair, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, because I saw him doing that um, earlier when he was at the ledge, um, JWW, he just kept on, uh, it was pretty safe. He was just jumping, firing, and then he would drop down, kind of like wave dash with his movement, and then he would just try to, it, it was safe to throw out, basically. Yeah. And I, I saw him do it before that, so that was actually a good option to call out the jump. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Adjustments for Tove here would be, watch good. the roller. I, I see the roller, it's really good, but watch it a little bit, just enough, and then watch the landing back air from the stage. Be content with coming back. Don't fight your way back. If you come back, you don't have to always go for narrow. Just come back, take center stage, and then take neutral from there. Mm -hmm. Definitely. But yeah, going back to Pokemon Stadium, JWW probably wanted to go back here, more comfortable uh, with all the room he has. Mm -hmm. There's that roller. Oh, uh, was hoping he would mash out a little quicker so he could get that up air follow up. Yeah. Nice down tilt, looking for a tech chase, and good patience from JWW gets the grab. Tope has to be careful how he lands. That forward air has got a little bit of a disjoint, very similar to Diddy Kong's Smash Brothers for Wii U forward air itself. Nice. Oh, here we go. Down air, possibly? No, he wanted to chase him, and JWW got a little bit scared when he was off stage. Yeah, he didn't even look like he tried up being there. Mm -hmm. Just got a little scared. What, what did he do exactly? He went for forward air. Yeah, okay. Good for it. Tope looking to run away from this one here. Gets, I like the fact that he uses a uh, Falcon Kick to push himself out of the corner. Yeah, JWW also throwing out a lot of these s crashes at the ledge too. Not <laughs> like just throwing them out now, not even going for the read. But he has to be careful on that mm -hmm. because Tope's definitely adapting and he does not want to die at 80 again. And I mentioned earlier how good Roller is when you come from the sides like that. Not only from the sides, but it's also really good when you just have your opponent in a tech chase situation. Yeah. And man, man, that roller definitely going to take that stock. I think he did like three times there, and it just racked up so much percent and ended up taking that stock. It's definitely a great tool to utilize to close it out. Oof, I don't oh. know about that one. Yo, man, you, you oh, no punish, though. He wanted to pay for the first day all the way through. That's why he held it. Mm. Nice, good cross from Tove. Forward air, yet again, goes for the second oh. one. Falcon off the stage. Uh. He doesn't have the best recovery from that low. Hey, man. He just did Falcon yeah. a favor, and he said, That's you it. know what? It's it. All right. Well, yeah, that was a great adaption that we got to see from each other. Yeah. That was a good job with both players. And, uh, sometimes that's all That's all it's about. It's just adapting, uh, starting to read what your opponents, what the options are exactly. throwing out, all of that.